Hey guys, Sophie Line here, and we're back at Maneuver Warfighter Convention at Fort Benning 2022, and I'm with Mr. Kennedy from Elbit Systems, and we're going to talk about something new today. So hi, I'm Chris Kennedy. I've uh, been with Elbit Systems for about six months. I uh, recently retired from the Army from here at Fort Benning, where I worked uh, all lethality requirements, dismounted lethality. Uh, so my, my title there was Chief of Lethality. And today I'm going to talk about mortars, and I'm going to talk about Elbit's mobile mortar and Elbit's precision mortar. Awesome. Let's take a closer look. All right. What we have uh, at Elbit is a, a mobile mortar system. So mortars in general, I know that your audience really loves tanks, <laughs> but they also love other things that uh, blow up and, and, and kill the enemy on the battlefield. And mortars are a, an infantry indirect weapon system. So. Unlike artillery, which is uh, high, or, I'm sorry, low angle uh, indirect art, uh, fires, mortars are high angle indirect fire. So they aren't as uh, large in range, and sometimes they're not as large in their uh, radius of lethality or kill radius. They're a little bit smaller, um, but they're an infantry weapon, and they're near and dear to my heart. I was a mortar platoon leader 20 plus years ago, and what is really cool is standing, oh, on this uh, display behind you is our a picture of our mobile mortar, which we call the sling. So mortars are a suppression weapon. Uh, they, in, in this case, um, the vehicle will drive in. It will take a mortar that's uh, got a base plate to absorb the shock of the weapon and the tube itself. It'll put that tube, we say, put it into action. And then this particular system has an auto lay capability. So the, the operators plug in their coordinates and the computer moves the mortar tube to where it needs to be. And then the soldiers hang the round, which they literally take the, the round, they put it in the tube, they drop and they get down, the round goes. Cool. So this particular system is a 120 millimeter system. Um, it can in place in and fire and displace in under three minutes. So one of the dangers for a system like this is that there's no armor on this. It's a, this is an open vehicle, open system. So the, the crew and the vehicle are, they're not necessarily as protected as say a tank. So one of the dangers out there is uh, counter battery. These projectiles flying through the air, the enemy has radar so they can identify. They fly in a, in a parabolic uh, fashion. So once you've tracked it for split second, the, the computer does some calculus backwards and it knows the point of origin. And they can, the computer can then automatically send that to the enemy and rounds can be coming back at you. So the beauty of this system is you can drive up, stop, put the weapon into action, fire, put, take the weapon out. It's got a hydraulic lift that pulls it up and you can drive away. Let's take a closer look at the system. Uh, this system, like I said, is a 120 millimeter system. It's currently on this uh, mounted on a Humvee. Uh, the system, wherever a Humvee can go, it can go. So a lot of good places. Uh, the, the US Army currently uses a trailer mounted system, so it can't go as, as many places because trailers just can't go where just a single vehicle can go. But in this case, uh, you have your fire control system is mounted on the outside. So you'll have somebody operating the computer here. Uh, you're standing behind you. You can barely see it from behind the wording, but the, the gun tube is here. And then you've got this uh, electro motor system that does the auto lay that directs to traverse and elevation. So it tells the gun, I need you to go up a little bit, left a little bit, right a little bit to get to the target that the fire direction officer has put in for where they want the, the, the round to go. Um, it can be configured many different ways. You can see here, this is where we carry the ammunition. 120 millimeter, pretty heavy heavy round. The guy's got to pick it up, he's got to put it into the tube, he drops it like I showed before, he gets out of the way because that thing's coming back out. Uh, traditionally, mortars are a suppression system, uh, and what do you do uh, with a suppression system? You don't count on kills, so to speak, you count on suppressing the enemy, and then usually you, you use that to do your own maneuver while the enemy is uh, down being suppressed. But in this case, we if you have a, a target that you just got to kill, uh, we have a precision round, which I'm going to pick up a model, a model of. So this is uh, the Iron Sting. And 
it weighs a lot more. This is just a model. <laughs> yeah. But um, this uh, is a 120 millimeter mortar with, you can see these uh, wings or fins that deploy. So these are contained in when it goes in the tube, when it comes out, they deploy. This particular uh, round is dual mode. So you can tell it by GPS where to go. So you can say, I need you to go to coordinate one, two, three, four, five, whatever, put it in and it's gonna go there. You're gonna fire it in that general direction, we call it getting it in the basket. So you're gonna fire it in the direction, but as it falls, the little computer inside and the GPS is gonna move the wings and get it onto target. So it goes from being a suppression system to a precision system. Uh, I said dual mode, so that's one, it's GPS. The other way, in the nose cone, you have a semi-active laser seeker. So the, uh, you can have a forward observer out on the battlefield lasing the target. So they're putting a laser right on where they want it to go. And as this guy is coming down, the front up here has the seeker, it sees the laser spot, and then again, it uses the wings to take it to where it needs to go. But this is like, you already know the general the general area that you're aiming at. You so know exactly. You need to, so you need to make sure that it's pointing very much in that direction, and it does the fine tune. So like we talked about on the, the, the sling, the mortar tube itself has to be pointed right. right. But even then, the circle error probable. So the chances that this hits exactly where you think it's going to hit when it's a dumb round, that, that's a big circle. It may hit all the way to the left, it may hit all the way to the right, even though you pointed it here. With this round, you pointed it here, but the last final guidance from these wings that move left, right, up, down, they're gonna take it right to that spot. Okay, what are some of the differences with regards to the numbers of what you can expect from a dumb round versus this, in terms of that, that area you mentioned? Yeah, so generally speaking, um, a conventional round, you could be left to right 150 meters, or. 180, 150. This, you're talking 10 or less. Gotcha. Cool. And where can we find out some more about your systems? Uh, well, we're going to be at AUSA in DC cool. in, a, in a couple weeks, and we will have an actual sling system to, to you can come see it, touch it, jump on it like you get on all the other tanks. Uh, but we're still just going to have models of the okay. iron sting. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Go ahead and check out Elbit Systems and sort of the rest of their tech. I'm going to drop some links down below in the description. And if you dug it, throw a like to this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you at AUSA, and I'll see you next time.